I was camping recently and while eating breakfast, a rather sad looking American crow with a really bad leg hobbled over to me begging for food. And against my better judgment, I tossed him a piece of scrambled egg. A mistake. Immediately, three other crows that I wasn't aware of descended from a big nearby oak tree and overwhelmed the injured crow, taking the egg. But the injured crow managed to swallow a good chunk of it. That set in motion an amazing display of crow family discipline as an apparent elder crow held down the injured younger member of their small family for at least three or four minutes before I realized it wasn't going to stop and then went to get my camera and set it up. The younger crow was held down hard by the weight of the senior crow by one leg on its body and the other pinning his bad leg to the ground. This went on for more than three more minutes. I'll give you my interpretation of the events at the end. Crows are super intelligent and can strategize and execute plans, or scams if you will, and do what needs to be done to survive. The injured crow showed up again the next morning at breakfast. I realized this campground crow family had a racket of sending in their injured member to solicit illegal scraps of food while the others quietly watch in the wings, then swoop in and grab the food when an easy mark falls for their plan, with the injured crow getting what scraps it can. I think it is supposed to eat last. If it gets greedy, it gets punished. There was apparently no intent to kill or further damage the injured crow. It could be easily pecked to death and there was no pecking, just a very loud, harsh warning to follow the plan next time. I try not to judge animals, especially by human standards, and in this case, while treated harshly, the injured crow would probably have no chance of survival on its own. 